Hey guys, what's going on? Justin here from OGN. So today I want to tell you a little story about this little guy here. This is the Killzone Shadowfall dog tag. Now before I tell you the story about this little guy, I want to show you the dog tag itself so you guys can get an idea of what it is. Alright, so first of all, I believe it's made out of stainless steel. Um, it's all polished on the outside. It's pretty heavy, it's pretty thick as you can see. It's all polished around the edge of it here. It's got a raised bezel that goes around the whole dog tag. Now on the front, on the top, it has raised lettering, kills on Shadowfall. It's got the two slots in the middle that go right through it. And on uh, the bottom, it's got a raised VSA logo. On the back side here, it's got Shadmar VSA, which I'm assuming is short for Shadow Marshal. And it has his serial number on there. And what I believe is just supposed to be is like blood type AV, AV positive. Right here, it's all raised lettering. And on the bottom, it has a raised Owl Drone logo and uh, raised four stars. Now to tell you a little story about how you earned this, so back in 2014, it was actually in March, it was March 4th to March 12th, um, Guerrilla Games hosted a competition called the Open Trial Week Competition. Basically ran for a week. Now there are four categories to place in, it was most points, most kills, most headshots, and most mission wins. And they gave the dog tags away to the top five people in each category, so there's only 20 of these. Now the first... The person who took first place in a category received a dog tag and they received a signed concept art print. Um, now, I don't have the art print. I actually placed second in the most uh, mission wins category. Um, there was an issue with another PSN player who I won't talk about, but um, the complications with Sony to where the last day of the competition I wasn't able to play. But that's neither here, that's neither here nor there. I basically just want to tell you what we had to do to earn the tag. Now, we started on the 4th, so we pretty much stayed up 7 days straight for the most part. I think the first 3 days, it was me and my clanmates, um, all in the OGN clan. One person I want to uh, give thanks to especially is my buddy Carl, who was up with me pretty much the exact same time I was. He played at the same time, he did the same thing I did. He actually took 3rd place in the most mission wins categories right underneath me. Um, basically, the first 3 days of the competition... We didn't, like, luckily I didn't have to work. I wasn't working at the time, neither was my buddy. So we basically just dedicated our week to this. We were up for basically three days straight for the first three days of the competition playing. We both were barely eating, barely drinking. I mean, it was all nothing but gaming because there was other people doing the exact same thing that we were. Um, it was pretty cutthroat. On the fourth day, I think we both slept for maybe four or five hours, got right back up. We were up for another two days straight, slept for like four hours, and then finished out the rest of the competition. So we had like no sleep, running off of coffee and energy drinks. It was uh, it was pretty gruesome, but was it worth it? Probably not, but there was a bunch of other people doing it, and we wanted to be the winners. But um, it was definitely a fun competition, and I hope Gorilla does that again. But I just want to give, you know, video size want to give special thanks to a couple people um, again my buddy Carl who was right along the side of me doing this competition with me my buddy Jay who was there almost as much as we were he had to work so he couldn't be on as, as much as we could but he helped us out a bunch and then everyone in the OGN clan who supported us during that competition and uh, all the random people that came out who contacted us through the game through PSN and on the forums who were supporting us too so that was really cool I just want to say thank you to all you guys, but yeah, that's pretty much the um, story behind this Killzone Shadowfall dog tag. So if you guys are interested in some more Killzone Shadowfall stuff, uh, check, click on the video at the end of this video to check out the Killzone Shadowfall Sky Defense t-shirt. If you want to see some other content for Killzone Shadowfall, such as a walkthrough, a collectibles guide, or the complete trophy guide, then you can go to my channel where you can find my Killzone Shadowfall playlist. Also guys, don't forget to comment, like, and hit that subscribe button to see when I upload new Kills on Shadowfall videos, as well as first impressions, playthroughs, trophy guides, reviews, and a whole lot more on a bunch of other games. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Now you time. can pick this t-shirt up on the PlayStation Gear website for $20. Uh, for me, I got it on sale, so it was $9.99. cost me $6.50 to ship it, $1.16 for tax. So total for me was $17.65 to buy the t-shirt, which is still cheaper than the actual full price of the shirt. So.